the lead code problem we are going to solve now is called merge triplets to form target triplet now we can see that this one is a medium problem and also not very well like problem but a really important one basically a triplet is an integer array of three integers okay that's fine and we are given a 2d integer array called triplets with bunch of different values that contains the pieces of uh, triplets which means like values like a b and c okay now we are being told that there is a target triplet x y and z now we need to make sure that in this given triplets are we able to generate this target uh, by doing the following operation on any number so basically we can pick any two triplets from our given triplet array and if we pick any two triplet basically we can combine them to create a separate new triplet that is only going to contain three values but that is going to be the maximum value at each position come uh, amongst these two two triplets so let me give you an example suppose we have a triplet one two and three and we have a triplet let's say four five and six so in this case we know that amongst these two the higher value is four then amongst these two the higher value is five and amongst these two the higher value is six so if we merge these two triplets basically we can form an operation like this so based on this we are being told that we can do as many number of operations as we need amongst all the triplets that are, that are given but we are trying to make this target number if we can make the target number awesome we need to return true if we are not able to make the target number then we need to return false so let's try to see one example and uh, we'll try to figure out different uh, uh, examples from that so first one is that let's say that in any given case we are given these three triplets right for these three triplets we need to form a number two seven and five now notice that we have the option to do the operation between any two triplets so let's say that we do that max operation between these two triplets which means we have value two five and three at one position and second value is one seven and five by doing the operation like the merge operation basically we can pick the maximum amongst the all of these values and we will form a new triplet that is going to be maximum of these two values so the value is going to be two this is going to be maximum so value is going to be seven and this is going to be the maximum so once again value is going to be five and notice that this exactly matches the given input target that we have so in this case we can return true saying that yes based on the given input we are able to generate the target value and hence we can make the triplet by merging two triplets so let's see that what is going to be the uh, brute force approach to solve this problem well it is quite straightforward that for any given triplets that we currently have let's say that we are given uh, in total five triplets and i'm just marking them as a b c d and e and for each of these five triplets we have the option to do the merge operation so if uh, the brute force way is that we do merge operation amongst these two triplets we do merge operation amongst uh, these two triplets and so on and so forth we keep on repeating and every single time we compare it with the target value to see if we are able to generate the target value or not and eventually if we can we would find the correct answer but this would yield in big o of n square time where n is the number of triplets that we currently have which is an inefficient approach we'll need to find a better approach and the optimal solution in this case comes from doing things in the most simplest manner optimally and that is to use a greedy approach so let's say that this is the example that we are currently given now notice that whenever we are iterating over any particular uh, triplet we should always compare it with the target to determine that is this a triplet of uh, interest or not and the comparison should only contain two items first thing is that whether if each of these three values if all of these are lesser than the target value then and then only it is a, a triplet of interest for us uh, otherwise we need to move on to the next triplet and why let's try to understand let's say that currently we are given a triplet two six and five and we are given the target to be four six six okay so in this case we can notice that every single value so two six and five comparing with four six and six notice that every single value inside this triplet is actually less than or equal to the target triplet that we have 
which means this can be a potential uh, candidate that we can use in future for the merge operation. Now the thing is, if we are going to use this for the merge operation, then we should just put this, put this on a side and uh, noting that we found a triplet which can be of potential use to us. Uh, at the same time, we should also have to keep track of a variable that what if we already found a triplet that we are all uh, anyways going to find the optimal solution with. And in order to do, do that, we will have to basically compare the given tri triplet with the target triplet and keep track of the maximum value that we are able to generate from both of these triplets and just store that information. So let's say in this case, we can notice that the, because this is a triplet of interest, then we are going to store the maximum value amongst these two, these two and these two. And notice we are having a condition that this has to be smaller or equal to the target, which means either we can have all the values that are going to be smaller than target or it is equal to target which means we would never exceed target in this approach so in the maximum variable we are going to compare the max values so we are going to this is going to be four this is going to be six and once again this is going to be six okay so we took care of this triplet now let's move on to the next triplet once again in the next triplet we have a value called seven four and six now notice that for this one, for 7, 4 and 6, we did found a triplet that we currently have over here that is of potential interest uh, could to target or not. So notice that the very first value 7 and 4. So 7 is greater than 4, which means if we do merge operation with this triplet, then all we are always going to have first value that is going to be greater than the target value which means this would not be a use for us so we should just simply skip over this triplet because we should not use this triplet to merge with anyone else okay next we have this value 4 4 and 6 so let's try to see that if we use this value what is going to be the um, expected range or expected triplets we are going to be fine so in this case uh, basically once again uh, we compare 4 with 4 so this is equal 4 with 6 so this is lesser and 6 with 6 so this is equal so once again this can be a potential uh, triplet that we can use so now let's try to do the max operation in this case so the current values are 4 4 and 6 so we are doing 4 4 and 6 and we are comparing it with the target which is 4 6 and 4 so now notice that maximum amongst these two is going to be 4 so we add 4 over here maximum amongst these two once again is going to be six and maximum amongst these two is going to be uh, six and now in the end we are going to have a maximum variable that is going to contain values four six and six over here and meanwhile we are going to have another uh, target value that we were trying to achieve and that was also four six and six so notice that because both of these values match we can simply say that yes there exists a triplet that we can uh, generate by merging other triplets and if we cannot find this maximum value, which means there does not exist a, a triplet that is of a good use to us. So in that case, we would have written false. So if we if you see approach for this solution, then we can simply run it in big of n where n defines the number of triplets. And in terms of space complexity, we are not adding any additional space. So this is going to be big of one as well. So I hope this solution makes sense. Now let's quickly see the coding approach. The coding solution is quite straightforward. First, we are going to initialize an array with size 3, uh, naming it as max values. Then we are going to iterate over every single triplet that we are given inside our triplets 2D array. And for each of the pair, we are going to check that if the current triplet that we have, will it be contributing towards making the target or not. So we are checking that if the given triplet uh, position the value the first value is less than the target less than or equal to target second value is less than or equal to target and third value is less than or equal to target if that is the case then we are going to simply update the maximum values we have been able to achieve based on the given current triplet and the target values now remember because we are uh, considering triplet values to be less than or equal which means if uh, the only case where we have the target value uh, set as it is, is if the given triplet value is also same as target value, that subsequent value. So we are going to store the values for all three parameters. 
and keep on repeating the same process for every single given triplets in a greedy fashion. In the end, we simply have to check that whether the three values present inside our array match the target values uh, that are present. If that is the case, we can return true. Otherwise, we can return false. So let's try to run this code. Okay, seems like our solution is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our code runs beautifully and it is pretty fast. So I will be posting the solution in the comments so you can check it out from there. Thank you.